Guess what? He was slaughtering every chicken. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Can you believe it? That's not halal. He's supposed to have said Bismillah, Allahu Akbar, in the name of Allah, and Allah is the greatest. You don't just go around saying Salam alaikum and eating your food. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. Words can impact us very deeply. Positive talk can boost us, perhaps change the day, and deep down can impact our lives as well. Mufti Meng, a man who needs no introduction, is the most prominent, prolific faith-based Islamic motivational speaker. He is loved across the globe by millions of Muslims and non-Muslims. Mufti Meng is the eighth of nine children. His father Musa Menk is an imam in a masjid in Zimbabwe. Mufti Menk is known for his wit and wisdom and many young men and women enjoy listening to him. I mean, don't you? Love, happiness, kindness, self-worth are essential for human dignity. Islam is a path that promotes, celebrates human dignity. There is no quick fix for Islamophobia. We need to continuously and consistently promote the goodness, the tolerance, harmony and positive message of Islam to prove that those minorities who are perpetrating crimes in the name of Islam are not following true teachings of Islam. Mufti Menk He called on people to make positive use of social media urging them to refrain from reacting to a negative situation in a more negative way. Subhanallah, learning manners has become a lost art, unfortunately. If you guys remember, once on an Instagram live, a Muslim woman was speaking in a disrespectful way, calling him names and telling him that he mixes truth with falsehood. I was a fan of yours since I was quite young, since I was like 13. However, as I started to learn the deen, I came across some stuff you said, which was completely contradicting Islam. In the dunya, you can't just be sitting at home and giving dawah like this. This is not the way to go. There, there's like actions that we have. They killed 3,000 people, but these are the things you don't see in the news because of the sect of sheikhs like yourself. You come on and blabber, but we see no action. I want to tell you something. This is not being emotional. I'm trying to, I'm trying to speak for all these idiots who actually follow you. People look up to you, and you're setting up a bad example. Okay, my sister, just that one point, if I can just uh, put forward something. You know, my sister, thank Allah that He has allowed you to grow in a beautiful way. Uh, and we're all, I'm very, I'm quite strict on myself, but I tell you what. We have to reach out to people who are not on our level and, you know, people who are not on your level. Not everyone thinks the same and not everyone is the same. The whole world is different. And to be able to empower people and reach out to them using a beautiful way and a method is part of the teachings of the Prophet ﷺ because if you look at how he spoke to various categories of people, it was always different. So, subhanAllah, it's, it's amazing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, has allowed us uh, different understandings to be able to reach out to others to bring them closer and closer to Allah. So uh, there are people who are right now who say La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, they are Muslim, they, 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 they do believe in Allah and they are weak, weak in the sense that they haven't been able to practice okay. quite a thing sometimes. Subhanallah, the way he handled that situation was very kind and he did not lose his cool. It's easy to lose your cool, and as we are young, we think it's better to teach a bitter lesson. But it takes greater self-control and courage to have patience and promote peace, especially when people are hitting out at you verbally. Even the non-practicing folk looks up to people like Mufti Menk. Subhanallah. On his social media platforms, Every day there's a daily dose of motivational quotes. In this day and age, when social media is on our backs, what a beautiful way to help and reach out to people. MashaAllah, Mufti Menk talks about clean fun, like picnicking with children, spending time with family, mountain climbing, biking, and also skydiving. Take your kids out, inshallah, go somewhere, spend the time with them, the day, go picnicking.
We do skydiving, <laughs> This is clean fun. People wonder, why on earth did you go skydiving? Well, I'm talking about it today. And that's what I'm telling you. That you know, the alternatives for our children, what are they? It may not be something as uh, difficult as a skydive, but it will be something that will keep them occupied. They have something to talk about, you know, really. Because it's better than a nightclub and it's better than so many other things that they want to do that, that sometimes their friends pressurize them into doing. Pets bring joy, whether it's cats, ducklings, rabbits, etc. It seems Mufti Mank has some pets at home as posted on his YouTube channel. MashaAllah. Reaching out to the creation of Allah brings more love and kindness. Kindness is a mark of our faith, brothers and sisters. Something important is focusing on common heritage, where some of us instantly jump to differences. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite us. Amin. In the words of Mufti Menk, we need people of different faiths and sects to come to an understanding. We don't need different sects to come together in terms of giving up their ideologies. We have to come to an understanding that what I believe is correct and I will remain with it and others have the right to remain with what they believe is correct. SubhanAllah Brothers and sisters, Allah has honoured all the children of Adam. We should come together as human beings and we all need the same motivations. Irrespective of our religion and belief, we all need happiness, contentment. I would end by quoting Perhaps the purest and deepest form of love is having someone praying and supplicating for you without you even knowing. Mufti Menk. May Allah bless Mufti and grant him with goodness and happiness. Amin. That's it for today guys. I hope you liked the video. Tell us in the comment section what is something you learned from Sheikh Mufti Menk. We would like to hear from you. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and share this video to your friends and family. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. May Allah guide us, may Allah strengthen us. My brothers, my sisters, I plead with you to become more conscious of the way you use your tongue. Wallahi, it will solve a lot of your problems. When you die, people will remember you for the good words you used to utter. They will remember you because you made them feel good. You made them feel worthwhile with us. Those who are connected to us so closely, we make them feel unworthy. We make them feel totally useless. A'udhu Billah. It is a sign that we need reformation ourselves.